Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself right now. Man, it's my lucky day. Look at this big juicy Valkyte asteroid to mine. But folks, that's no moon. It's a space station. Or maybe a spaceship, rather, but you get the idea. This is the Piranha stealth ship. And should you so choose, it can rely solely on maneuvering for thrust and make sure it doesn't have a thruster trail. Let's take a look inside. Just hit these buttons on the bottom and it opens up like a clam. Got easy access to your generator rods, your ammo swaps, and your YOLOL codes should you choose to add more scripts. You know, it's already got a couple running, but there's always room for more, right? Come down here into the cockpit. And close her up. Over here you can see we have all of our readouts for whatever we may need to know. Over here we got ISAN and all of our controls. From left to right here we got precision which basically just makes the controlling levers uh, less touchy so you have more accuracy when you're trying to blow people up. We got the beacon which just turns on the transponder. Stealth mode which I'll show you in a second. And we got prime which pretty much makes it so the guns can shoot and also ramps up the generator so we'll turn that on now so we can show you it later and we can see here the generator is starting to go up and let's, so right now it's in stealth mode but if I turn this off it'll open up the back and we can see that we now have a full booster pack so if any of those miners are giving you trouble and trying to run, you'll be able to catch them. That is unless they go over 130 meters per second because that is this ship's max speed. It doesn't go 150, but you know, what can you expect from a big fat asteroid? You know, I'd say that's well, still pretty decent. On uh, stealth mode, it only goes about 80 to 90 meters per second, but you know, you're not trying to win the Indy 500 in stealth mode. So, let's show you guys just what this thing can do. You can turn very fast, I actually had to tone down the turning just so that you could turn it a little easier. But, this is with the boosters on, about 130 meters per second, not slow, not the fastest ship, but it gets the job done in most situations. See, it can turn pretty much on a dime here, I'll go around this tower really quick. Gens are at 90, that should be enough to sustain gunfire. You can see the weapon heat going up here, so you know just how long you have to fire. And then precision mode, I have that bound to right mouse button, that just made the most sense for me, uh, coming from other games, but if you turn that on here, you see the turning is very slow to start up, it gets faster the longer you hold it down, but that just makes it easy here. I turn that off, you can see it still turns fast. Let's say I wanted to shoot, uh, let's see what's a good target. Say I'm going for that box over there, turn on precision mode, and boom, I'm already on target. Pretty easy to stay on target when it doesn't move that much. So that's what that's for. And I think that's about all the features of this ship. You can demo what it looks like when it's in stealth mode with the jets here. Let me just turn this on cruise. And we'll take a step outside. That is one fast asteroid.
if you're interested in acquiring this ship for some amount of credits the information will be in the video description have a good one